After an awesome surf out at the reef, we bring Sprout back into civilization and anchor up in Bay de Citron to fill ourselves up with fresh groceries and to check out the local windsurfing talent. Whilst Jessie was very excited with the windsurfing, I was happily entertained by this dog with a coconut. I take every crashing wave on a wave. I want to enjoy my first French rosé, but um, it's a cork and we're just plebby Australians and normally have <laughs> screw tops. I don't know if we have a a bottle opener for that. <laughs> I think we do. So we are just leaving uh, Bay de Citron. Um, we've spent three, three days there, just chilling out. It's been really nice. Um, it's nice and sunny today and the winds are pretty light. So we're gonna head out to Dumbia um, and hopefully get some snorkeling in and some surf. Um, before this really strong westerly comes in on Thursday um, and we'll head down to Bay de Prony for some protection from that. I have been to the bakery this morning and got us some fresh yummy bread and we're pretty much all set so we're just motoring at the moment because um, we're making some water while it's nice and clean and I think we'll probably pull, probably pull the main up soon anyway. But um, yeah, it's been lovely, so pretty nice day. Music inspo. Once we had finished singing about fish and feeding the fish, it was time to go snorkeling with the fish. But first, let me explain why my face looks like this. See, maybe a little naively, our first anchorage in New Caledonia was La Ragnare. As soon as we had picked up a mooring, I was seeing multiple sharks swimming around the boat. Now, I've grown up on the beach and have a healthy respect for these guys, but I was still not used to seeing so many so frequently. So I didn't realise how bad my fear of swimming with these guys was. Jessie had tried to get me to get in the water just to get used to having these guys around and it didn't go so well. So the idea of going out today was a little bit nerve wracking considering we were right on the edge of the lagoon. After chatting with some locals and reading the rocket guide more thoroughly, we found out that La Ragnar was actually a nursery for female sharks. Although it wasn't breeding season, they're commonly seen at this anchorage and it just so happened that we picked this as our first. So that face you see, that's both excitement and a small bit of fear for what turned out to be one of the best snorkeling and free diving experiences I've ever had. I will not be afraid to kiss the lips Send me an orbit. You send me.
take every crashing wave on the way for you. Move a mountain, travel space, walk on the moon, even if it hurts. After what was some of the best diving we've ever had in some of the clearest water I've ever seen, we had to quickly pack up and head into Il Ur for some protection from a westerly front that was due to hit us early in the morning. It's a westerly front coming in tomorrow. <clears throat> so we've come to Il Ur to get a protected anchorage, as has like 10 other yachts. I reckon there's going to be a party tonight. A party? Party oh, on Tango. Look at all these masks. What do you reckon about party on Tango? Oh yeah, they'll totally invite us over. <laughs> <laughs> Another beautiful day. Yeah, you get your, uh, you got to pay for your good surfing days with fronts. <sighs> so, uh, and this one was nice, came in the morning, which is better than middle of the night. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have a video making day I think. So 25 knots outside so no one wants to do that shit. You can probably hear it. That's inside our cockpit. Mm. Our bloody zips broke. Yeah, on both sides. Bloody zips. I hate zips. And I'll give you a little bit of a view. Oh you should have taken our flag down. We just hope that no one else drags and they just hope that we don't drag. On that note, only minutes later this boat flew across the anchorage, landed on a bommy. Luckily no one was hurt and they were able to get off and re-anchor further out into the bay. So it's like still uh, squalling, I think it's only like 6.30 now um, and rainy and stuff and look how good Jesse is, he's up the front scrubbing and cleaning the boat with the fresh rain. <laughs> cleaning away. Such a good boy. I'm gonna make pancakes. Next week on Sprout. The storms have passed and the adventure continues. We go and catch up with our friend Nico who we met in the surf. Peace up, A-Town. Yeah.